everybody. Welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara and we're a furniture flipping family located in the heart of Texas. Would you do us a favor and give us a like and subscribe while you're on this page? We'd really appreciate it. Today we're going to take you out into the garage and show you how we flipped two MCM nightstands that were really outdated and turned them into pieces that people will continue to love for years to come. So come on with us and we'll show you how it's done. So here's our starting point. I do have two of these nightstands to make over. I picked them up at an auction as it was a three piece set with a dresser. The dresser sold really quickly off of our Facebook page and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I just posted coming soon pics of this and somebody bought it um, just off of this picture right here. So I didn't actually stage this guy. I wish I would have, it turned out really neat in the end, but I still have the two nightstands left. So let's get to work on these. First things first, we're gonna remove all of the hardware. Once the hardware's off, then I like to give everything a good cleaning. I like to use crud cutter on all my pieces. You just mix it in warm water according to the directions on the bottle. And you can get crud cutter at any local hardware store. This is also a really good time to take a close look at your piece and see if there's anything that you need to fix on it before you start painting. These nightstands were actually in really great shape. They just had some um, little scuff marks and things on the bottom. It looked like the, the dog tried to chew on. So I'm just going to take my wood filler and fill in all these little spots here to get rid of these. Now that my wood filler is dry, I'm going to go back in with my surf prep sander, which you all know I love, and just go over the edges really well so everything is nice and smooth, ready for paint. We are going to use chalk paint on this piece, so I like to make sure I give everything a really nice scuff sand just to make sure it's nice and smooth before we start painting. For these nightstands, we chose the color Sea Serpent by Sherwin-Williams. We mixed it up in our gravity-fed HVLP spray gun and we're ready to paint.
for our top coat, we're going to use varathane polyurethane. We do use a different spray gun for the poly. We don't put it in the same one that we put the chalk paint in, but these spray guns are about $19 a piece at Arbor Freight. So they're pretty inexpensive to go ahead and pick up a separate one for like your polyurethane if you're going to spray it on like this. We gave the hardware a good cleaning, but it still didn't come very shiny like I had hoped it was. So we're going to use some Rust-Oleum Hammered Gold Spray Paint to give these a brand new, nice, shiny look. So with the nightstands, we ended up listing them on Facebook Marketplace. They were up for maybe a day before they sold. I actually sold them to a girlfriend of mine, which is pretty cool. I always love having my pieces in some of my friends' houses. So that's really sweet and special. Um, we did buy that those nightstands as a bedroom set. I think they came with five separate pieces. We ended up doing the pieces all different styles and techniques, and we sold them off individually instead of selling them as one bedroom set. I'm going to bring you guys a video on that coming soon to show you how you can tear apart a bedroom set and sell it individually and sell off the pieces and the profit you can make in that versus just selling it as a straight up bedroom set. So that's coming up. If you like our content, I would really love for you to like and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to leave me a comment. Comment. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys might have about flipping furniture and how to get started. We'd love to help you with any tips and tricks if you need those. Thanks so much and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye!